Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kiana and this is my very first ever Sims 4 video on YouTube. I've been playing The Sims since undergrad and for the past year or two I've been saying how fun it would be to have my own Sims 4 channel and I finally decided to do it so I'm really excited. On this channel I'll be doing Sims 4 Let's Plays. I'll probably also do scenario playthroughs as well as pack reviews. But for now we're going to start with my very first Let's Play and my Sim Harper Sinclair. I do have really big plans for Harper in the future, but for now she's going to be starting with university. I tend to start all of my sims with uni as a way for me to get to know who the sim is, plus it gives the sim an opportunity to have a really full young adult life before they have to start worrying about jobs and getting married and having babies. So Harper here is from San Myshuno. She's from a pretty successful family. Her dad is a CEO in the business career and her mom is a judge. She does want to take after her mother and be in the law career, so her major is language and literature. Her aspiration is academic, of course, and her traits are perfectionist, overachiever, and romantic. Her favorite colors are red and green, and she likes jazz, hip-hop, R&B, and classical music. Harper has three roommates. On the left is Miko Oho. She is one of Harper's very best friends from back home in San Myshuno. She is really into fashion and she wants to be a style influencer, so she's getting a degree in art history. In the middle is her other really good friend from back home in San Myshuno, Gabby Gonzalez. Gabby wants to be a fashion photographer, so she is getting a degree in fine art. And on the right is a new friend that she's just meeting, Patina Wainscott. Patina is from Willow Creek and she wants to be an interior decorator, of course. So she is also getting a degree in art history. Okay, so now that we have the introductions out of the way, let's get into the gameplay. It is Tuesday in game and there are no classes today, so I thought this would be a really good day for Harper to go out and see Brightchester, get to know the town, also get out and meet some of the students, and that'll be really great for her in the future when it's time for her and her roommates to throw some parties. I would also like her to go to the gym and attend a yoga class. My goal for Harper is to increase her wellness skill and start leading yoga classes around campus as a way to make some extra money. I think that'll be really fun. And then she needs to go over to the Ubright Commons for the Debate Guild practice. I would like her to join Debate Guild, and so she'll need to be over there around 4 o'clock in order to introduce herself to some of the members and ask if she's able to join. And then later this evening, she's going to be going over to Windenburg with her roommates to a nightclub, and hopefully they'll have another opportunity to meet some students there. Okay, so we made it to the gym, and Patina is stalking us. There's also a yoga class already starting, so we will join this brain-boosting yoga class. And the instructor is Danny Davila. I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's a pack sim or a sim from the gallery that got pulled in. But hopefully we make it into the class on time. There's only one person in here. Where do we go? Okay, right here. Okay, so while she's doing class, just a little bit more information about how I set up Brightchester. I did pull in a lot of existing townies from several different worlds in order to make it a little bit more lively. So we have Penny Bazaz here, we have Salem Banali, we have um, Jules Rico, we have several other Sims I'm sure you'll see. Of course, Patina, Miko, and Gabby are all Maxis Sims. And then I also created quite a few sims of my own in order to try and like flush this thing out a little bit, especially when it came to guys because I was having such a hard time. So Jackson here is actually a sim that I created and added into the world and he attends um, Foxberry. So the goal is going to be to introduce herself to as many sims as possible in the time that we have. She's also hungry, so I think after she finishes this class, she's going to go downstairs and grab something from the cafe. Hopefully this doesn't take a super long time. But yeah, she is currently wellness level 
three and I would like her to get to at least a five before we attempt to do our first yoga class on campus. I just think the idea of her hosting her own yoga classes is really cute and then doing them somewhere on campus like in a grassy area near the quad is going to be really really cute so I want to see her do that um, so we'll see how long it takes her to get to level five but my goal is to try and fit in as many yoga classes and at-home yoga sessions as possible with her still adhering to her schedule so speaking to her speaking of her schedule while she's doing this she's only taking two classes this term she has the right expectations and she has pride and prepositions the right expectations is actually a wednesday class that's her first one so that's going to be tomorrow at 1 30 and then pride and prepositions is thursday is going to be her first class at 8 a.m so she needs to submit a term paper for pride and prepositions and she needs to take a final exam for the right expectations so that's probably stuff that we'll start working on tomorrow i can't imagine this class taking too much longer should be done right yes okay so while we're here i know you're hungry but there's a student so let's go ahead and meet this guy please don't leave can i introduce myself to you stay right there buddy there we go so i'm going to introduce her to jackson real fast and then lilith is over here and then we'll go over to the cafe and have something to eat Whoa. Okay, so she got an attractiveness alert for Jackson. Let's read it. Wow, what a sim. Harper Sinclair just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Jackson Hawthorne. That man has so many of the qualities that make Harper's heart race as if it were on a cross-country marathon. Their handsome features meet Harper's desire so readily that it's almost as if whatever created such a sim sculpted him specifically for Harper. Now the only thing left is to pick up their jaw and work up the courage to speak to such an Adonis. Hopefully Jackson will be kind enough to reciprocate Harper's feelings. Okay, so when she's immediately flirty, let's see, a breathtaking encounter, Harper's eyes were caressed, okay, by a truly magnificent sight as a particularly appealing sim just entered her view. This fine specimen of a sim now has Harper's undivided attention as they try to pick their jaw up from the floor, there are heart-pounding moments, but this one here is heart-stopping. And then, is this a booty? Okay, so from talking to attractive sim, it's a shame that society decided that when you talk to someone, you should be facing each other. At least that's what Harper thinks after she noticed the very attractive butt shape of her conversation partner. Okay, so I don't remember making Harper a butt girly, so I feel like she's going rogue on this one. I don't think I contributed to that at all, but apparently she really likes this butt. And then she made a new good friend. I don't know who that was. Nicely decorated. She is inspired from the yoga class, and as we know, she is starving to death. So while we're here, let's just ask Jackson what his degree is in, or what he's doing, I guess. What he's getting it in, because I don't remember what I gave him. I created quite a few sims. Okay, so he is majoring in biology at Foxbury Institute. I don't think we got anything else. Nope. Okay, and I know sometimes when I'm testing her out, I find that she has like difficult conversations with people, like on her own. I don't know why, but she doesn't always get along great with everyone. I'm not sure which one of her. <laughs> Which one of her traits is making that an issue for her? But let's really fast ask about his taste in music. And then maybe we can also ask him his favorite color. And then we're going to stop talking to him and introduce ourselves to Lilith. He, we found out that he is active. That's nice. Well, you are at the gym, so that makes sense. And then we also found out that he likes hip hop music. Can we ask his favorite color? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, okay. So let me pause again. 
suggestive look harper is under the impression that another sim has their gaze fixed directly upon her with a glimmer in their eyes it's plain to see that jackson has an intense interest in harper if harper tries to push things to a more intimate level they may have a good chance at success is harper going to accept jackson's advances or ignore him okay so i know what's going to happen here if i say accept his advances they are immediately going to go and get in the shower and woohoo and i do not want them to do that so we're going to ignore that but it's good to know that he is also attracted to her harper ignored jackson's advances he shouldn't bother her with his antics anymore okay so i think that's enough talking to him he's immediately flirty that is amazing it looks like gabby is here now and of course as soon as i go to have a conversation with lilith she decides to go into the yoga class so i don't have time to deal with that right now let me see if she needs a shower or anything she doesn't so we're going to come in here and we're going to change and we're going to go over to the cafe and have something to eat so who do we have this is grace is grace from the spellcaster pack i think she might be okay i don't need to click on her i need to click on here and i need to order food for here let's get um it's breakfast oh it's brunch time i still think we should do something breakfast e so let's grab a cinnamon roll see if that holds her over for a while until she gets over to the comments all right so where are you girly here we are she's so cute i love that green on her <clears throat> Panka Beljoga And while we're here, we might as well get a coffee. Can we order a macchiato? No, like order that now. Of course not. Cause that would make too much sense so you're gonna go where are you going oh my gosh never mind i don't even want the coffee anymore where are you who is this guy you just needed to come and sit by this random dude you don't even know that bad who is he might as well introduce yourself while you're going to be over here is he from kamaravi friendly introduction also that cinnamon roll looks absolutely oh, awful dag dag. That is really, really bad. So let's talk to this dude that you felt it's so necessary to sit next to. Let's, um, is he leaving? Oh, why is it that every time I start talking to someone in this game, they get up and walk away like immediately? Okay, so she has a lot of time before she needs to start heading over to the commons. Do we see anyone else over here that we can introduce ourselves to? The yoga class should be almost done and then we can talk to Lilith it looks like Bettina is over here as well um, and Gabby randomly not dressed for the gym so while we're waiting why don't we just go over here and order that drink for here macchiato all right so it's like just three hours maybe or so into her very first day on campus and she's already met a guy that she finds attractive but I did set her attractiveness like attributes or what she's looking for to be relatively generic i think it's just like short hair muscles oh her mom's calling hold on hey friend i was wondering if i could stay over at your place for a few days let's hang out and have some fun so you just dropped me off today so no and also i'm almost positive that people can't just show up and stay at university housing so also no we'll cancel Okay, so like I was saying, her attractiveness traits or qualities or what she's looking for are said to be pretty generic. And maybe apparently at some point I also made her interested in booty. I don't remember doing that. But either that or she decided on her own that she was going to be interested in booty. I don't know. But yeah, I do not remember that at all. 
Why is she doing that with that cup? That doesn't make any sense. All right, so where are you gonna choose to sit this time? Why are you running in here? You're not even gonna sit at all. You're just gonna stand there. So let's go sit out here. And then maybe you can actually start on your homework while you're here. There's Salem. So I think I added him to Brightchester because he's all artsy and stuff. So I think he will be around campus. And he's going to exercise in his full outfit with his backpack. That's nice. So she's going to enjoy her coffee. And while we're here, we might as well get started on some of our homework. So let's pull out this backpack. And grab your homework. Okay, let's grab your homework. And then let's do homework for Pride and Prepositions. Who are you going to do it with? Bettina? The trees are so pretty in fall in Brightchester and other places too, but it's so pretty here. They may not always do the best with like how the game, like how fun the game is, but they do a really good job of making all the worlds look super pretty. Is that Cameron? It sure is. All right, so we're gonna finish this one homework assignment and then we have a little bit of time. Hopefully Lilith is done with her yoga class. We can introduce ourselves to her. I'm sure that some of these other people are students. Maybe we'll also talk to Salem. I know that he's a student, but for the most part, I have no idea who the game pulled in to be still. Why are you naked, ma'am? You're just gonna go out with your towel, okay? So yeah, I don't know if all of these people are students. I don't know about Valerie or Arthur. Looks like they're related to each other though. No, they're not. I don't know why I decided that they were. I think because their names kind of rhyme. So when she finishes this homework assignment, oh, where are you? Oh, now she's dressed for like, um, okay, a night out. All right, so let's open this up. Let's put our homework back in there because I know it didn't go in there on its own. And let's put our backpack in our inventory and then let's come over here and introduce ourselves to Salem. Friendly introduction. And Gabby is cracking herself up over there in that bathroom. Please don't go to yoga, Salem. I'm talking to you. Please just wait for me to get here. Okay, so he waited. Okay, so let's ask Salem about his degree. I don't remember what it is. Ask about degree. He is majoring in language and literature as well. And I don't know why I'm talking to this other dude. Um, ask about hobbies and skills. Sure. Oh, he's leaving. He's like, no thanks. I would like a coffee. Wonderful. I really do just want to sort of meet all of these people so that I can add them into our um, social bunny. So I think that's all the students that are here. And it's now 325, so we're closer to when the debate guild practice starts. So I think we should just go ahead and head over there. And yeah, maybe she can do her other homework and definitely have something else to eat. Okay, so we made it to the commons. While we're waiting for everyone else to show up, let's go ahead and buy her Brightchester hat. Let's also buy the sweatpants. Let's also buy the sweatshirt. And then let's grab her textbook and then she needs to use the restroom. And hopefully by the time she finishes in the restroom, they will be showing up for debate practice. Okay, so we need the language and literature course book for 700 simoleons. This is way too much like real life. That is super expensive. Okay, so let's use the restroom and let's wash our hands. And then hopefully by then, 
they'll be spawning in. So I don't know if this works the same way in everyone else's game as it does in mine, but the debate guild members all just kind of like gather right in this area and then they just continue to stand there. They don't ever actually go upstairs to the debate area in order to start practicing. I'm not sure if they just don't like this building or what the deal is, but they don't ever do that. So we should see them any minute now, just start to fill in here. So another thing is when I was testing the save to make sure that everything was gonna work, when Harper went to join the debate guild in my test game, everyone who showed up was really old so it was all elder sims and there was one i think may prescott from copperdale showed up as the only non-elder sim so everyone else in the debate guild was old and i just thought that was really interesting i don't know why they were all elderly like literally every single last one of them so here's the debate guild members this is emma i think emma might be from the gallery eloise is from copperdale and Surpria, she is from Brindleton Bay, and I believe Blossom is from uh, whatever eco lifestyle world is. I don't know why I can't remember it right now. And so we're going to come over here and we're going to introduce ourselves to Emma. I don't know who that dude is that's coming to talk to us. We're going to come over here and then we're going to introduce ourselves to Eloise and to Supriya and also to Blossom. And then we're going to ask Emma if we can join the debate guild. I usually don't like this hair, but I really like it on Emma. It looks really cute. All right, let's ask if we can join the debate guild. Are you in the debate guild? No, you're just standing behind me like a creep. Okay, so have you asked yet? Listen to Emma's question. No. Okay. So, ask to join the big guild again. Okay, so Harper is now a member of the debate guild. She has been given an official debate guild organization t-shirt and poster as welcoming gifts. Okay, so we should have some new tasks and stuff that we need to complete over here. So, yeah, new member, use your power of convincing to raise in the ranks of the unabashedly outspoken debate guild. Think that was a mouthful? There's more to come. Drop some serious schooling to fellow debate guild members at debate practice or leverage the debate showdown to tell the world what's up. And her tasks are to watch the news channel on a TV, debate a topic, and research any topic. And she has to do those things by Thursday because then all this will refresh. So debate practice is happening now, and then she's got another debate practice tomorrow, and then debate guild bar night is on Thursday, and then the debate showdown is on Saturday. So I really would like her to participate in all of these events, and most importantly, try her best to get through as many of her tasks as she can, because I have never successfully been able to get past new member in the debate guild and all of the times that i've played uni so i would really like that to be a goal for harper for this let's play okay so now that we have been able to successfully join the debate guild i do want her to come in here and take care of her hunger so let's come in here and do that all right so here's this dude baby augustine is that like a sim or a gallery sim? I don't know. Order food, fish tacos. And I think I saw Miko was in here. And I don't know who else is here. Let's see. Um, that same creepy guy. And that guy. And then there's no one. Looks like upstairs. So... Maybe since we have a little bit of time, I don't think I want her to go to um, the, oh, where are you going? Are you going back there because this thing is here? Okay, I'll fix that before the next one. Um, but I don't think she needs to go out until like nine or so. So she's got a little bit of time, so maybe she will try and work on her debate skill by 
completing one of these tasks. I think, um, I don't know if we have a TV in here, but debate a topic with another sim at the podium or research any topic. So I don't know if there are any research machines in here. Are there? They're on this side. Yeah, no, there's no research machines, just that one laptop. And I think I have a mod in that allows me to research on any computer, but since she's done eating, let's have her come up here and debate a topic against, um, is homework beneficial with Emma since she's a debate guild member? Did she decide not to do that? Can they not get in there? Is that why they're... Is that the problem, that they can't use the room? I'm not sure if that was tested. Let me go here and see if I can even do that. Yeah, we've never... When I tested it, I didn't get that far because we didn't have this much time. So <laughs> I never tested whether or not um, she could actually use the debate podium. So I don't know if the issue is that she can't use the debate podium or like what the deal is, but that would explain why all the debate members are just standing there like they don't actually come in here. So she can get here. Can she debate a topic? Can we try it again? Is homework beneficial with Emma? No beam. Sure. Okay, so can we practice debating? Sensei. We can't. Okay, Olay. so that's the issue. We can't use this for some reason. Is it in a weird spot? Maybe the chairs are too close, so let's try to move the chairs back one. And while we're fixing stuff, let's get rid of that thing that's stopping her from being able to just get her food without circling around. So let's move that back there and then let's try debating again and see if that works okay so we moved everything back a little now can she debate debate a topic is homework beneficial with emma coleman this looks promising can she do it no beam. no she still can't do it what is the deal with this room is that penny oh penny's coming to talk to us um, I guess I can't figure out what's wrong with this room, but I would really like to use it. I'm waiting for Penny to come and talk to us, though, so that we can have her in our contacts. But I am frustrated by the fact that she can't figure out how to use this room or, like, what the issue is with it. That is so annoying. But Penny is so pretty. Look how cute. I can't even. Okay, so we can sit in those chairs. Can we practice debating without her? We can't, okay. I'm gonna go and figure out what the issue is with this and then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I figured out what the issue was. For some reason, there were microphones inside of each one of these podiums and so the microphones we're making it impossible for the Sims to actually see the, or I guess get to the podiums. And it's also start of term. So hopefully Emma is on her way up here and it looks like Penny is going to stay to watch us debate. And we are somehow still having a conversation. There we go. Now the conversation went away. Back in my I actually kind of like Emma. I don't know where she's from. I think she might be on. Oh, there's Jackson. Jackson's going to watch us. And we're probably going to lose because what is our research and debate skill? It's only a two. So something tells me that Emma's getting ready to tear us up. I can tell because she's being really disrespectful to her opponent, which means she's probably getting ready to lose. Looks like Jackson doesn't like her arguments either. But it could just be because he likes me. And Penny's like, I'm out of here. This is boring. 
Gamisha Abani. How long is a debate? We do have some audience members, so I figured out what the problem is. So hopefully when we come back for debate practice tomorrow, we will no longer have all of the debate team members just randomly standing out front and not coming upstairs to do debate practice. Jackson's over it. He's leaving. Right. Oh. Emma's crashing and burning, it looks like. Oh. So we should be able to at least tick that one item off of our task list, the beta topic. And then hopefully sometime tomorrow, she will have time to watch a news channel on TV and she will be able to research a topic. The problem is I always forget to check this every single time and then the next thing I know my son has graduated from uni and they are still a new member even though they join right away so I'm gonna have to make a concerted effort to come in here regularly to make sure that she is completing these tasks I don't want her to always be a new member all right so we're almost done it looks like we are also now blowing it so do we I don't remember do you get to see who won a debate is there like a winner or is it just over? It should be over, right? Debate a topic. I'm going to assume this yellow means that we got smashed. Okay. <laughs> debate dud. So from de from debating opponent, Harper spoke from the heart, but it wasn't good enough. Maybe next time she should prepare more so that she isn't such an embarrassment. That was harsh, but yeah, I don't disagree. So before she shows up to debate tomorrow night, we should have researched a topic in advance. So hopefully she will do a better job. And I guess we have to do the same thing for Saturday before we show up for the debate showdown. Okay, so we've done that. She does still have one more homework assignment that she needs to do. So let's come over here to this other area where all the students or all the student study section is and let's come here and sit and we will pull out our backpack and start doing our homework oh I'm still paused so put our backpack here and I think we should be able to add our book to our backpack, right? Yes. And then we'll pull out our homework. Oh, okay, there. And then she needs to really quickly do her homework for the right expectations. And then I think she might need a coffee before we go out tonight, just so that she's not too tired. So I think I might have mentioned, I think it's really good that she has class late because that means ah. that she has enough time to like go out tonight and then still sleep in tomorrow before she has to be up. Um, we'll see how that works out, but I don't want her to stay out too late, but I think the one problem is going to be the later she gets there, the later it'll be before ah. they're, they're, I guess, done up. meeting people and whatever else they're going to do when they get there oh it's angela let's meet angela while we're here doing our homework friendly introduction to angela i don't understand why they have to close and open their notebooks in order to talk to other things that's so weird okay i don't want you to do too much talking is this going well? It is. Okay. Let's ask her what kind of degree she's getting. And then let's finish our homework so that we can get to our other stuff. Interests. Ask about degree. Okay, she is majoring in art history at the University of Brightchester. So I think we're almost done with our homework. And I do have a mod in my game that makes homework a little bit faster to complete because it takes like an hour and a half to two hours in game and that is an absurd amount of time to spend on homework uh, in the sims oh, so it is grossly shortened even though for whatever reason that's been taking a long time to complete okay uh, so let's put this homework back in our backpack and then let's put our backpack 
Floopy. in our inventory. Oh, and then I think we'll come down here and grab a coffee before we leave. Yeah, so let's come get a coffee from this mermaid lady. Order drink to go. Um, I don't know what that is, but maybe it's a stronger coffee. So yeah, she's already starting to get tired. It's 9 o'clock at night. We still have to get home. We've got to take a quick shower and then get changed into our going out clothes and then gather our roommates so that we can leave. And how long is she going to be embarrassed from the debate that she did not prepare for? 33 minutes. Okay, we can do that. So where are you, girly? There she is. Okay. So let's grab our coffee to go. This is such a cute outfit. All right. So let's hope this gives us more energy. So we've got our coffee. Let's head home and get ready for our night out. Okay, so we made it home. Let's go straight upstairs. Let's use the restroom. Let's take a speedy shower. And then let's get changed into our going out outfit, which is here. And then we're gonna need to drink that coffee. So maybe what we can do like super fast is we can sit in here and drink the coffee and we can watch what was it? The news? Watch the news channel. Because everyone watches the news before they go to the park, for sure. So I'll let her finish those things, and then we'll come down here and sit and have the coffee that is in our pocket. Where is she? Okay, she's here. So this lot, I don't think I mentioned, is by um, Symphony on YouTube. It's just called Student Housing. And I think my plan is going to be to just post all of the lots that I'm using in the description box so that you know what it is or what they are and you can go out and grab them yourself. But yeah, I didn't change anything really to this lot. I did add um, an alarm clock and I'm pretty sure that's it. Everything else is the way it was. The lot also does require a mod by Little Miss Sam in order to get the stove and the grill outside to work. But yeah, I, that makes sense to me because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever that you would have university housing with no stove or yeah like people should be able to cook food in their own home that doesn't make any sense so let's sit here for just like one second long enough to finish the coffee and while we're doing that let's watch um no not a movie we want to watch channel and we want to watch the news and oh that kicked off super fast so let's just drink our coffee and hopefully this goes up some. And then maybe well, we can have like some bar food because she's hungry again already. I'm hoping that we can just like barely get into the green from the coffee before we leave. And here come all the roomies. Oh no, Miko's going to the bathroom. <laughs> and Patina's trying to go to the exact same bathroom. Alright, let's finish that coffee, girly. It is almost 11. It doesn't look like it's going up a lot. That's concerning. Alright, yeah, she's finished with the coffee. So it's 11 on the dot. Let's head over to Windenburg with the roomies and go to the nightclub. Okay, we've made it to the nightclub in Windenburg, which is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. I love Windenburg so much. So we'll talk about this too in a second, but she's only allowed to go to like three worlds regularly while she's at uni. And we'll talk about that as soon as we get them inside. So let's walk here together. Okay, so yeah, I consider uni and Brightchester to just be close to Windenburg 
and Henford on Bagley. So those are the two places that she can travel to regularly. But outside of that, she's not really able to just like randomly pop up in Willow Creek, for example, because I think Willow Creek is closer to the same line. It's like a suburb, I've decided. So I do want to remove everyone from the dance floor and we're gonna do a group dance. Please everyone remove yourselves. Everyone get out of here. Thank you. Alright, so let's... Oh my gosh, please leave immediately, Dominic. You're also way too old to be out here. Okay, dancing is in my bones. Harper seems to be having a good time on the dance floor. In the dance floor? Should she gain the likes dance preference? I mean, sure. I can't see why not. Do you, boo? Alright, yes. And this is such a pretty outfit on her. I love the little camisole that's under the sweater. So pretty. Or the jacket. Yes. This is the only part I like. Like when they start doing this whole second part, it's less comfortable for me because it looks super weird. I think that they should not. Like, and I know there's like stuff that you can add into the game that changes the dances, but I really don't like some of the dances and some of the stuff that happens to their necks when they're doing it. So, oh, Jackson's over here and he's drinking some wild concoction that is currently smoking. What was that? I don't know because he finished it too fast. So let's come over here to Dominique, who I believe is from Tartosa, and let's seat Jackson here and myself and we'll have a drink together because she is exhausted. <laughs> Poor girlie, it didn't work. Is she coming? She's coming. And we're going to order for him a drink whenever she gets here yes there we go so let's order a drink order a drink for jackson hawthorne and then let's also talk to him let's ask if he's single because we don't want to be wasting our money on drinks if he is in a relationship 52 dollars what on earth did he get we did find out that he's single, but $52 is an insane amount of money for two simoleons. It's an insane amount of money for one drink. Let's also order a drink for ourselves. Let's order... I want her to be a red wine girly, because I'm a red wine girly. So let's order a glass of this one. And his ridiculous $52 drink. What is that? Lada Cocolada. I hope you enjoy it because that costs a lot of money, sir. Okay, so while we're here, she's feeling energized from the coffee that obviously didn't work and also from the DJ music and from feeling fulfilled and from performing a group dance. Great. And then she's got a great reputation that worked out perfectly okay oh he is very animated love that for him let's compliment his appearance i kind of expected that she was going to be attracted to a lot more than just like jackson especially since she has such generic attractiveness attributes okay so she also acquired the romance skill at level one harper can admit to having little experience or confess having never woohooed if applicable and it is ask for love advice when speaking to friends create online dating profile and subsequently browse through online dating profiles and go on an online date Harper will occasionally feel a little tense when spending time with love interests and will generally not perform too well at Woohoo. She will improve by using romantic interactions and researching on the computer. Great. Okay, so let's keep talking to our good friend Jackson here. Um, what else can we ask him? Um, let's see. We can friendly hobbies. 
No, that sounds boring. Interest, enthused about interest, and then let's flirt with him again. Let's romance, flirtation. Let's just flirt. Let's go for it. Okay, he likes it. He's feeling really confident right now. Can they exchange? I love you. That is wild. Can they exchange numbers? Flirtation? Exchange numbers. Alright, Jackson, you better kiss that phone. You better kiss that phone, Jackson. There we go. Alright, so now she's also feeling confident. They're both enjoying their drinks. And. Oh. Oh, what is that look? What was that? Did y'all see that? Just Can we... And do a little dancing, Bilbar. and then let's flirt with him again. They have a little bit of a romance. <laughs> I don't think we would have a deep conversation in the bar, but we can discuss future together. Ooh. No, that's so weird. Can we ask Girl, him about uh -huh. his romantic interests? Like, what that kind that of girls are you into, uh, Jackson? Uh -huh. Oh, she's weird again. I forgot. She's going to get awkward about it because she <laughs> she's interested in him. So now she's awkward. Okay, so Harper has learned I am attracted to women. Okay. Um, he is attracted to women and he also is showing signs of the sage personality archetype. Sage Sims. Seek wisdom and focus on finding their truth in every situation. However, their knowledge-seeking nature might cause them to think too much and not act enough. Okay. She looks really weird right here. Okay. So we've been doing the clear look of the group. Every time I unpause, something else happens. Hero personality archetype hint. Jackson Hawthorne shows signs of the hero personality archetype. Hero sims are eager to demonstrate the courage to prove their worth and confidence. Subsequently, they might end up appearing arrogant by looking for faults in others to feel good about themselves or pick fights. Don't do any of those things. That's awful. All right, can we finish our wine? Because I think we've also learned that Jackson is a genius. I think before we got active, was the other thing we learned about him? So let's pull him up. We have a sentiment with Patina, but let's pull up Jackson. Okay, so we learned all of his traits. He is a genius, he is loyal, and he is active. We know about his degree. We know that he likes women. And we perceive him as extremely attractive and we've got amazing compatibility. Like two perfect pieces of a puzzle, these sins just click based on their preferences. They have the highest level of compatibility. Building a strong relationship between these two sims should take much less effort than usual. So that explains why their friendship hey, bar is so high. And poor girly is exhausted. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Wonderful. You're welcome. Um, let's preview one more thing. Flirtation. I mean, is going to be kiss too extreme? Let's do it. Let's blow a kiss. And then it's 2.30. She's also starving. So let's... Can... Oh, no one's here. Did they do that thing where they go randomly to another bar when they switch out? Absolutely, they did. Love that. Love that for us. Okay, finish your wine so that you can now go over to the other bar and order something to eat. Uh, Let's continue to work on our romance uh, bar, though. Uh, I already know what's going to happen. We're going to flirt uh, with him. We became good friends. And then tomorrow he's going to ask me what I think about him going on a date with another girl. <laughs> Gotta love the sins. Because that's exactly what would happen in real life. Of course a guy would immediately ask me about going out with another girl. Ooh, there's Julie. Julie is from the Discovery University trailer, right? Oh, Julia. 
Sorry. Okay, so finish the wine, please. Can you please just drink the last? There's a little bit left. Just drink it. Oh, she's killing me. All right, stop talking to him. Finish the wine. <laughs> He's having the time of his life. She's very flirty. Okay, lots of things are happening over here. So I want her to finish that. While she's finishing that, I'll read these. I'm ready for some action from Woohoo Drive. Harper is itching for some fun of the not safe for work variety. She's literally never done that before. Sexual desire. Such a lust for love. Who? Who do you desire? I'm going to see Miss Jackson, but you're not doing that, ma'am. Breathtaking balance from the dream. She enjoyed it. Made a new good friend that was just Jackson. And she likes how the lot is decorated. So let's go over here and let's order some food at 3.20 a.m. Let's get ceviche and chips. And then I do want her... Oh, I don't even know how to let you get up from this seat. Leave seat. Yes, you can feel free to go. Your prison time is over. Okay, and Jules Rico is over here. And Julia. And I would like to meet both of them before we leave. And Zoe Patel as well. I'm going to assume if she's here, it's because she's a student. Because I did add in the um, university hangout lot type and she's exhausted and i feel so bad but i am going to make you come over here and meet jules so please do introduce yourself to jules friendly introduction and i'll wait for you to go over there and do that where are my roommates did they leave me i thought i saw gabby just a second ago in her pink oh there's miko sleeping on the couch love that for her um, all right, so let's find out what Jules is into. Where are you, what are your degree? What's your degree in? Is he leaving? He's feeling very energized. I wish I could say the same. Uh, majoring in economics at Foxbury Institute. Okay, and then let's come down here and let's meet Zoe. I think I have to stop talking to him first. So let's come down here and let's meet Zoe Patel and a super quick I know I know I want to help you please don't go nap on the couch just come meet Zoe and I think Julia has left so we're gonna yeah she's leaving so we're gonna meet Zoe and then we're gonna leave I promise I'm gonna allow you to leave it is four o'clock in the morning that is unfortunate and Miko is like I am out of here goodbye She's waving to me from over there. I can respect it. Completely understand. Have we met Zoe? That's all I want to do. Is Zoe a student? Let's ask her about her degree. Um, friendly. So, no, interest. She's not a student. Okay, so she's not a student. She is just randomly here, which never happens in my game. And there goes Miko. Okay, so we are going to go home because it is 4.30 in the morning and we are about to pass out. Okay, so we made it home. It is 4.38. She is completely exhausted. I feel so horrible. Let's have her come up here and change into her pajamas. And then we will quickly use the restroom and uh, we'll wash our hands and then we will brush our teeth and then i will let her go and get in the bed i do think her alarm is set for 11 30. yes yeah, so that should give her enough time to like get up and get herself together before she has to go to class today at this point it's today it's not tomorrow and she is just barely making it the poor thing look at her I feel kind of bad. Who spilled all this water on the floor? Did we do that earlier when we took our shower? I feel like, did we forget to hire a maid too? That was the other thing I wanted to do. So maybe before she goes to bed, we will hire a maid for the lot. She is also still doing a lot over there with that Woohoo drive. Hire a maid. Her dad is calling. It is five o'clock in the morning. Why are you calling me? 
Hey honey, it's dad. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your old dad you love him, can you? I would love to do that, but I can't come home until like Thanksgiving time. So I am going to have to say I can't, but it was nice talking to you. Sigh, I understand you're a busy, successful young lady now. I guess my girl grew up to be just like me. I miss you though. I'll always be here if you need me, okay? I know, Dad. And she does have a supportive family dynamic with her dad, so I think that might be why that's who we're hearing from. Okay, so she's going to brush her teeth, and then I'm going to have her come in here, and let's turn off all these lights first. All the lights, all lights? I might have already done that. And then come and sleep. So it's been a successful first day. She completed her homework. She joined the debate guild. She met a guy that she's interested in who also appears to be interested in her. I can't see her anymore. There we go. Um, who also appears to be interested in her. But yeah, so I think we will leave this first part here. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please do leave your comments down below. How are you feeling about Harper and the first episode of this Let's Play? What do you think about Jackson? Is he a good fit for her to date in college or should she get out here and find some other guys? Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, so thanks again for watching. Please do come back for future videos. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe and do all of that stuff. Thanks again. Bye.